Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. I'm going to make a video today to show you how to download and install Microsoft SkyDrive and also some of the features in it. So go ahead and navigate to the Microsoft website. Just www.microsoft.com. Go ahead and there's search, type in SkyDrive. And this one is going to be the second link down. Let's go ahead and click that link. What I want to do is install it on this computer. So we'll click Get SkyDrive and go ahead and download it. And it's a very small file, so I'm just going to click Run. Hit Yes. And what it is, it's basically a uh, online cloud storage. So it kind of, you can have this application installed on uh, a PC, a Mac, a Windows Phone, an iPad, and you can kind of synchronize all your stuff together. Uh, from one device to another and you can access it all through skydrive.com online so we'll go ahead and click get started you do have to have a Microsoft email so like a hotmail account or a live account if you don't have one you can navigate to uh, live.com and go ahead and create one so once we'll once we type it in our email and our password we'll go ahead and click the sign in and proceed with the installation and it's just going to show us a location where it's going to install the folder just hit next uh, you can leave a default or change it if you want make sure this is checked because you want to access all your stuff on uh, with other devices go ahead and hit done and what it's going to do it's going to open up a Windows Explorer that's uh, going to give us the the folders here that we want to that we can copy stuff to from our computer that way we can access through skydrive.com and also maybe download to another computer so just to uh, kinda test this uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to skydrive.com first it's gonna have a sign into it using that same email and that same password All right. Once we're signed in here, as you can see, we have those those two folders that we had on our Windows Explorer. So here's our local folder on our computer. Here's our online storage here. And you get seven gigabytes of free online storage through SkyDrive, and there is a 300 megabyte file size limitation when you're uploading stuff to it, which is going to be a lot larger than any email attachment that you can do. Uh, so that's going to work around that email attachment limit. But like I said, you get seven gigabytes free. So what we want to do let's say we are working on our computer at home and we wanted to open up say a uh, word file we're creating a word document we'll just say this is just a simple test and we needed to stop working on it and we had to go somewhere and needed to really finish this but you know we can't say you just had a desktop can't take it with you We'll go, what we're going to do is we're going to save this to save as. And we're going to go to our SkyDrive, save it under Documents, hit Save. And what that's going to do, it's going to put it under our Documents folder here on our uh, SkyDrive. But once we put it here, we're going to be able to access it remotely through a different computer. So let's say we're on a different computer now. We went to SkyDrive.com, logged in. We want to access that document. Go ahead and click on it. It takes a, you know, it may take a minute to upload, so you may have to wait a second. Just keep clicking to reflect, refresh. And what we have here, what it gives us up here, where it says create, it's got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. It's got a web uh, app version of those of those applications that are on your computer. So not every single feature is available that is available on the actual program on your computer but if you were on a computer that didn't have those applications you can go ahead and say if I click on this and I create a document here is the uh, Word web app and I go ahead and start creating my Word file so I can go ahead and later on open it on my computer and finish it right now we're kinda doing the reverse go ahead and close it 
as you can see but it just put it there under the uh, documents but here's the uh, file that we created on our computer now basically uploaded it to skydrive.com where I can click on it and let's say that computer does have Word that I'm working on now I'm working on a friend's computer I can go ahead and say open in Word and it's gonna access his Word application and open that file up and leave off right where I uh, saved it or I can edit in the browser so in this case we, he does have Word so we can go ahead and use that but I can just keep say edit in browser and that same file that I was just working on on my computer is now on the is now I can access it through skydrive.com and go ahead and finish it and save it for later printing on my local computer uh, once I save it and finish the document what I want to do though is once I get back home and I want to access that file I'm gonna have to do a right click on it and click on download and I can do a save as and he, through here now I can save the Word document locally on my computer that I finished remotely on a different computer uh, and so I can print it so I want to make sure to you want to make sure to do this step in case you want to save it back on your computer and that'll take it basically what we did is took it from our computer we started it we finished it somewhere else saved it and then we downloaded it back to our computer the finished product where I can go and uh, edit it or just print the document now let's say there's a file that I forgot to upload to the SkyDrive well you can access your computer remotely through here uh, as you can see here it says computers go ahead and click my actual computer what it's gonna do is a security check and it's gonna send a security code to my email that I need to use it's always gonna be a different security code so we go ahead and click on it and it went ahead and send it to my email so we go and log into our email check it there it is it sent me a security code I can just copy it close our email paste it and it's always going to be a different code hit submit and now I have full access to the documents on my computer so there was a picture that I desperately needed I'm at somewhere else I can't you know get to my computer I don't want to drive home just to get the picture or upload it uh, so I go ahead and go to the pictures and say I wanted to choose this picture go ahead and say copy to SkyDrive and I'm gonna put it under the documents folder say copy and it's gonna go ahead and upload the file the file there to the actual SkyDrive.com server so now when I go to the uh, documents where I stored it there's the jellyfish and there it is and I can do the same thing with this one where I can uh, download it to uh, the location that I'm at or you know I got a ton of different options that I can use here and there's a share feature also that you can send you know an email to somebody you can go ahead and send that picture like I said the limitation is 300 megabytes but it's still quite a bit larger than what your email uh, attachment usually limits you or I can say post that picture to Facebook go ahead and you know leave a message here go ahead and post it on Facebook so what basically what we've done is we've taken files locally on our computer, uploaded them to the SkyDrive, accessed those files from a different computer, and uh, also connected to our computer remotely from within SkyDrive. Just say just in case we forgot to upload a file. Uh, so we've gone back and forth, and that's what SkyDrive basically is. Uh, it automatically syncs all your devices together once you have those, that program installed on all the computers that you want to access your information from so you can access from one computer or the other you know you can connect to more than one computer uh, there is a 300 megabyte file size limitation uh, but this application pretty much works on anything PC uh, the Windows phone the Mac the iPad uh, you can access it, through, access it through an Android phone also by going to skydrive.com and uh, if you needed more storage you can always click on the manage storage here and go ahead and up it from the 7 gigabyte free storage to 20 more gigabytes 50 more 100 more however much space you needed so it's a neat little software, neat little cloud storage uh, that's offered free through Microsoft. So as long as you have a live account, you can go ahead and access that. And it lets you uh, you know, go back and forth remotely from one computer to another, from one mobile device to another. So 
that basically concludes this video. Hopefully you guys found this information helpful. And that's it for now.